Hey everybody, so today I am back with another What I Eat in a Day video, as you see from the title. I'm gonna be showing you guys everything that I eat, all vegan, all plant-based, yeah, yeah, yeah. How delectable does this look right now? I am so excited. I've been craving French toast all week, and I was like, I'm gonna treat myself this weekend and make French toast for breakfast, so I have. I am just ready to chow down. But before I show you guys how I make my world-famous French toast. I have to hit the pause button really quickly and tell you guys about Squarespace, which is sponsoring this portion of my video. So if you've been living under a rock and you're not familiar with Squarespace, it's an all-in-one platform where you can build a professional website, online store, or portfolio. And it's for everyone, whether you're just getting started or if you're already an established brand, Squarespace has all the tools you need to run your business, including e-commerce templates, inventory management, a beautiful checkout process and secure payment. So they really make it easy to create a custom site that matches your style and brings your ideas to life. I have actually, I'm gonna let a little bit of the cat out of the bag. I've been working on something for a while now and it's nearing completion and yes, it is food related. And I really want to redo my website so I can showcase all the things that I wanna showcase. I want a different layout, a different format. I just wanna completely do an overhaul. And so when Squarespace reached out to me to do this promo, I was like, look at that, perfect timing, cause I definitely need some help. I've actually been scouring the site to hone in on what direction I wanna go in for my revamp. And I've got so much inspiration already there. Templates look absolutely amazing. And the tools they have are really awesome. Squarespace helps you to quickly understand your audience with website analytics so you can get feedback on what's working and what needs to be improved. So that's definitely key. You can purchase domains directly from Squarespace and each domain comes with a stunning parking page and free who is privacy. So if you guys are interested and you want to revamp or launch your online presence, check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, you can save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain by using this promo code. So I'll have all of that information down below in the description box. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring this portion of the video. And let's go ahead and rewind so you can see how I make my breakfast. Okay, so my French toast recipe is actually really simple. All you need is some almond milk, some nutritional yeast flakes, all-purpose flour, sugar, cinnamon, and vanilla extract. And then you just whisk that all together. And the bread I'm gonna use for it is this sourdough. I usually always use sourdough bread for my French toast. And you just dip both sides of the bread into the wet mixture. Spray my skillet with some olive oil. And once my pan is all heated up, I can go ahead and Place my bread on. After a couple minutes, flip them. Gonna add some vegan butter. Then I'm gonna top it with some fresh fruit strawberries and sliced banana. I'm also gonna sprinkle on some coconut flakes. And then of course we have to top it with some maple syrup. Got my handy dandy water bottle. I put some lemon wedges in here. Pour some of that into my glass. Tastes just like you're in a restaurant, but even better, cause it's in the comfort of your own home. <laughs> For lunch today, I'm making like a cheesy, creamy broccoli soup. I've gone ahead and chopped up my broccoli. I had a head of broccoli, and this is probably about two cups-ish of broccoli. I just chopped it up into these little pieces. Also diced up half of a white onion. Took a large potato, and then I peeled it and diced it up. So to a large pot, I'm gonna add about a teaspoon and a half of olive oil, and then the diced onion. And I'm gonna saute this for about five minutes. Next, some vegetable broth and those potatoes. 
I'm gonna bring this pot to a boil and then I'm gonna turn down the heat and let it simmer for about 10 minutes until the potatoes have softened. All right, so while my pot is cooking on the stove, I'm gonna go ahead and make my creamy base in my blender. So I'm gonna take a half cup of cashews, some water, some nutritional yeast, garlic powder, and paprika. All right, so now I can add my cashew base and the broccoli. And I'm gonna add just a little more vegetable broth. Give it a little mix. Gonna cover it and let it simmer over low heat for about five minutes. Now you can keep it super chunky like this, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take about half of this in here, put it into my blender and blend it up so it's smooth. And then I'm gonna keep the rest as it is. Cause I still want a little bite to it. I still want a little chunk, but just not as much as it is right now. And then all you do is finish it off with a little salt and pepper to taste. Mix it in and that's it. I'm gonna sprinkle some crushed chili peppers on top. And with my soup, I'm just gonna have some crackers to drink, more water. And this soup is extremely rich and I love the chunks of broccoli and potatoes. And this will definitely keep you full for a long time. And for this, you can use frozen broccoli. I've used it before, but I would always recommend using fresh because it just tastes so much better. It just tastes way more flavorful with fresh broccoli. But if you need to use frozen, you can. It'll still work, but it's definitely super yummy. For a little snacky snack, I wanted something sweet. So I'm just keeping it simple with these two oranges. Plus I have to eat them up because they looks like they're gonna go bad soon. For Din Din tonight, I'm making a quinoa veggie bowl. And I'm using this Brussels sprouts and carrots oven roasters. I've used this before a couple times and it's really, really tasty actually. So I'm just gonna put those onto a parchment lined baking sheet. Just get that all in a single layer. And I'm gonna pop this in the oven at 450 degrees for about 20 minutes. For the base of my bowl, I'm using this. This is a brown rice, kale, red quinoa, and garlic blend. And I've never tried this one, but it looked really good and I wanted to get some more greens in. So it just looked perfect for that with the kale. It's already seasoned as well. It has garlic powder, lemon juice, sea salt, and black pepper. This you can actually steam in the bag in the microwave. It takes four minutes, so I'm gonna do that. All right, so my quinoa mix is ready. Put that on there. Add on my roasted Brussels sprouts and carrots. Also diced up a shallot and sauteed it. I'm gonna put that on as well. And I'm gonna top this with a drizzle of tahini. I never made this particular dish myself, so we're about to see right now if it's actually any good. Mmm extremely tasty two thumbs up very pleased with how it came out the shallots really do hit it off and the tahini is the icing on the cake let's mix it all together so everything has a little tahini on it but yeah guys this is it this is all i'm eating today i hope you enjoyed my what i eat in a day video thanks for watching i'm going to finish my dinner now and um, i'll catch you guys soon on my next one peace